Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So this is my all-time favorite. It's called as Echeveria Luella. It's one of my favorite succulents. Gets absolutely beautiful color. The colors are not getting picked up on the camera for some reason, but ideally the tips of this succulent turns to turn really orangish red in color. It's a very easy to grow succulent. If you are a beginner, you can definitely add it in your collection. It looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, the entire body of the succulent has this very pale light green but as and when it's exposed to direct sunlight the edges of the leaves tend to turn more red in color i'll probably put the picture on the screen because on this uh, the camera is not picking up any of the colors uh, what it's supposed to have so it's a very easy to grow succulent again uh, the soil has to be loose porous and well draining ensure that the soil has uh, very less organic matter in the soil and you need to give a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours after acclimating it in order to get that beautiful color you can even place it in indirect bright light provided that the light is around eight to nine hours that there is good amount of indirect bright light for eight to nine hours if you're growing it indoors you'll have to have a good quality of grow light these succulents are not frost hardy. You cannot keep them in rain for a longer period of time. Once or twice if they are out in rain, it's absolutely okay. But you have to ensure that you blow off the water from the succulent leaves. But let's say if your rains tend to continue for a week or so, then obviously do not keep your succulents out in rain. Otherwise, they will have root rot. Watering again when the soil is completely bone dry, uh, you'll have to do a complete watering until the water starts passing through the drain hole. Please do not mist your succulents, do not mist the upper layer of soil, that is not enough for the succulent. You might be able to avoid overwatering, but then you will end up with underwatering your succulent which again is not good if it is done excessively. A little bit of underwatering is okay for uh, succulents, but not excessively, especially during the summer months. Right now during winters, uh, the Luella, because it's from the genus of Echeveria, it is gonna go dormant during the winters. So please avoid using any kind of fertilizers. If you want to do that, you'll have to wait until summers because that's when their growing period is. Luella is very easy to be propagated. You can do a leaf propagation, you can do a stem cutting, you can even separate the offsets once they reach a decent size but like always as i've said leaf propagation is going to take a very long time it's a very slow process of propagation as compared to separating of the offsets and stem cutting mealybugs are a issue so you'll have to keep a watch on it if you tend to see mealybugs you can go with any organic solution whatever you have but please avoid spraying anything on the succulent like uh, neem oil or any kind of uh, insecticides that contain a lot of oil please avoid doing that because that is going to damage uh, the succulent leaves apart from that luella also has a good amount of farina on it if there is any oil that is sprayed on the leaves uh, the farina will get damaged with the oil so you have to be extremely careful uh, you what you can do is you can just sprinkle some dry cinnamon powder on the soil if you tend to see it on the crown area you can sprinkle a little bit on the crown area but then you'll have to blow it off after 30 to 45 minutes don't let the cinnamon powder stay on the succulent for a longer period of time uh, 45 minutes is more than enough uh, the mealy bugs will loosen up from the crown area and then you can just blow it off uh, ensure that when you're doing this process take your succulent away from your other collection otherwise those mealy bugs are again going to fall into other plants so that was all about it it's a very simple to grow succulent if you have it in your collection already you can give it a good amount of light if you want to purchase the succulent you can definitely add it in your collection it will make your collection look very colorful because the succulent in general is a very beautiful very bright and intense colored succulent so guys, I hope that this video on Echeveria Luella was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.